hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here so yeah we are back with top shelf tuesday so how i kind of started this off earlier in the year was it was a lot more longer form and i would kind of do different makeup looks what i would do was different makeup looks using one makeup bag and then i would you know film all of them piece it all together make one video well now that i have a job like outside of the home and everything and my focus isn't just like content and my brand i just don't have time to do that anymore but i'm still going to do top shelf tuesday this has always just kind of been a part of my life i've always been a makeup and a product junkie so i have more than the average person this is kind of my way to shop my stash use my makeup that i already have maybe add new stuff in and give you guys like reviews after using it for you know this bag i've been using for almost a month but most of the time it'll be like after a week and i really try and like pair my makeup collection down use a bunch of stuff together see how it works let you all know so yeah, we're just back to doing this sitting right here in this room that I created for filming videos. And yeah, uh, let's just get started. Um, I have quite a bit of Jones Road makeup. They sent me quite a bit of stuff. So I decided to incorporate it so I could like try it out and give you guys my thoughts. And then I have other like older stuff, some things that like I bought like this. And yeah, let's roll in and start. All right, all. So concealer that I have been using the last few weeks is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. And I have this in shade Malo 0.25, I think. I don't, it's Malo. That's the shade I have this in. And I do like this shade enough. I think it's a little bit, like, they have another shade of this that I think is a little lighter that might go better under my eyes. But to cover blemishes, etc., it is pretty good. And I have been testing this a little bit just this week, comparing it to the Kosas, and they are a little bit different. I'm still kind of forming thoughts on that. I do prefer the Ilia one a little bit more because I prefer the tone of it um, for my skin tone. But I do think Kosas has like obviously a place in the makeup world. Even in my makeup bag, I was noticing because it is a little bit more yellow in tone, it makes for a good, more like a concealer and color corrector for like me. So yeah, that's just kind of like some thoughts I had in comparing the two. But this one I like overall. It has really good coverage. I can get away with just, oh, let me see, I want to get a different brush. I can get away with just using this as a base product. It's really nice coverage gives me pretty even tone. It has a little bit of luminosity to it, so it's not totally matte. So I have been using the Summer Fridays. This is their Sheer Skin Tint uh, Light Coverage, and I have this in shade one. I was a little bit worried about this being too deep for me. They don't have like a really pale shade. I can make this work. That's not what I typically love to do, but I can. So. I'm just applying a few dots of this to the back of my skin. It does have a nice pink undertone. I wish it was a tiny, tiny bit lighter in tone, but it's not awful, like you guys will see. And I like the texture of it. Overall, this isn't my favorite skin tint. My favorites are Tower 28s and Rose Inks, but this is okay. I generally have just been using fingers to blend this out. I think I get the best finish when I do this like using a brush it kind of just picks the product up because it is a little bit more oily and light it doesn't really blend it out very well and then what I've been doing is just taking a sponge to pick everything up just in case my fingers miss something I feel like sponge actually works better with this kind of a skin tip and yes I'm using these kind of foam ones I have a bunch of them for some reason from years ago and they've just been in my makeup drawer. So I was like, well, you know, I have them. Might as well use them. But they are, aren't like what I would number one recommend. I actually prefer like a beauty blender, whatever, whatever dupe exists for it as well. So right now I'm pretty broken out and I'm kind of upset about it. I know it's because of this product I use. I'm not even going to say its name. It's like a small indie brand and 
you guys wouldn't know it. I'd be drawing more attention to it negatively than really needs to be. But I'm going to break the hell out of my skin. So kind of sucks. Needed to put a little bit more concealer on. So overall, this isn't my favorite base that I've ever used. I just hadn't really like cycled through anything else. That's why I didn't pull anything else. It's just not my favorite. I do prefer Tower 28 Skin Tint. And even this concealer, I like it more than Kosas, but it's not my favorite concealer ever. It's good. It has pretty decent coverage. I think this is my second time having this again. I would probably get a lighter one. I'm just thinking. I'd probably get a lighter shade of it just so I could use it better under my eyes. Like I still feel like under my eyes, they don't look as like highlighted, right? So I kind of like something a little bit lighter and with like those more whitening properties to like, you know, lift the color and like kind of make a little bit of a distraction from the circles under my eyes. Like everyone kind of has that a bit, especially as we all get older. So yeah, just... Uh, it was an okay base, not my favorite. I'm not like fangirling over either product. I think they're okay. Uh, I like the concealer more than I like the skin tint. I would not purchase that skin tint again. I would rather just get my Tower 28 Sunny Days, just a better product. Okay, and then I did bring this with me because I was in London and all this makeup I wanted to fit in this little bag so that I just wasn't bringing a ton with me. So I didn't want to bring like a loose setting powder and a brush and deal with all of that mess. So I brought my Jane Iredale, it's kind of dirty looking. So this is their setting powder that comes in one of these. What I typically have done is I remove the brush and then spill it onto my hand and then I use the brush like this. This is a bit pigmented. So I like it, it has some SPF to it. And it brings a little bit of pigment on top of all of that. And I do feel like this kind of sets everything and makes it a lot nicer looking together. With this makeup bag though, I've only used this like two times. This is probably my third time using it. I don't use setting powder daily. It really depends on like the look I'm doing today. I'm doing all the makeup. But if I'm just doing like, I want a little bit of correction, just a little concealer. That's all I do. And I don't use any setting powder, but today I wanted to, and just talk about this. So this is refillable and you just pop. I'm trying to remember. Somehow you pop these out. I've done it before. Um, and I have refilled this because initially I got like a too deep shade. This is shade this and it's their amazing base. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this has SPF 20 in it. So it's a decent setting powder. I actually like how my base looks better now than just with those two products, but it just wasn't one that I use daily because it is, even though, you know, my whole thing was like, I don't want to bring, you know, a pan and have it be all messy and a brush. Still, it's a little bit messy because I like pour it into my hand to make sure that I get enough product out and onto the brush because it is supposed to come up through the brush but I like a little bit more product than that. So that's just me, that's just me. And then I have like this. So this is Jane Iredale's, this is their Glow Time Bronzer Stick in Sizzle. So I like the shade of this for me for contouring. I was a little bit like, is this going to be too deep for me? But I actually think it gives a nice contoured shade. So I'm pretty light with this on the cheeks. Just kind of carve out my cheekbones. Then a little bit along my hairline, and then I actually do quite a bit along my jaw because I don't have that strong of a jaw, and I kind of have to fake it. So, yeah, there's quite a bit down here. And I've been using Merit's brush to blend this out, and I think because it is pretty dense, it works really nicely. So that this gets blended. And it lightens it up a bit, but it still leaves like a nice pigment behind too. So this is just a little tip. I try and blend it back and up into the hairline instead of forward. So it's not like pushing the product forward so it doesn't look too heavy near like the high points of my face. All right, so overall I like that. It adds nice color to my face. I also, you know, I think it contours decently as well without being like too in your face contoury. So I've liked that one. I like the texture of it. I like it in stick form, all of that stuff. It is a little bit deep, but 
I blend it out and I like it. I actually like the shade of it. And I actually did use it quite a bit in my crease this past, you know, few weeks. And it's kind of a nice like contour for the crease as well. These are Jones Rhodes Lip and Cheek Sticks. And I like these so much more than their Miracle Bomb. I was talking with a couple of people about their Miracle Bomb because I got one of the pots when it came out and I was, I just never got the product. I never got the purpose of it because it's not pigmented enough to be a blush, but it's too pigmented to be a highlight or a bronzer, depending on the shade you get or a blush. It just is like a weird product. I'm not going to, I'm not doing editorial makeup. I'm not going to put that like all over my face. The texture was a little bit too thick. It just wasn't for me. I'm bringing that up because I really love this and I love one specific shade of it. So the chocolate mocha is my favorite shade. And it seemed like it was going to be like a little bit too deep. Like when I opened this up, I was like, that's not gonna look good on me. Like that looks almost brown. And then I used it and it does have some red tones to it also. It's gorgeous. It's my favorite shade. I even have their lighter pink in this in mauve rose which is more of like a me pinky shade. I don't like it as much. I like this one. So this is the one that I went for, hold most days and use because blended out. And then I take a little bit up into my hairline too. When I blended out the red tones pop, I feel a little bit more, but those brown tones can help neutralize it to be like too much of a blush. So I just really like the shade of this. I use fingers to blend it out. I think, you know, it looks best this way. And yeah, I love the shade. That's the one I would recommend. The Mauve Rose is okay. It's just more pinky. This one is just, it's a much, much more unique shade. All right, so I've been using Rose Inc's Clear Brow Gel and I decided to give this another shot because my friend Katie really likes this. And I like it more than I initially did. So this one is their clear one. It's pretty waxy. The thing I don't like about it, I wish it was more of a micro brush because I can see the wax that's like down here in the base of the spoolie that I don't think is getting transferred to my brows because it's like in the base and my brows aren't that long. So yeah, but I truly prefer a more jelly or aloe formulation and composition. This is more waxy. So it just depends on what you like. If you like the like, remember the soap brows that people were doing? If you like that look, this is pretty similar because it has a more waxy consistency to it. I just prefer something, you know, a little bit more jelly overall, but this works. Like, I don't hate it as much as I did when I first tried it after using it again, but it's just not my favorite. I prefer the Kosas Airbrow. This is just a little bit more waxy, but it does set the brows nice. So there is that. All right. And then before I forget, this is the highlight. I only use this one a few times because I was doing pretty simple looks again. So this is Undone's Water Highlight, and this does have an interesting consistency to it because it does kind of feel like the slickness of it does feel a bit watery and kind of like cooling and refreshing. So so I have the rose lit shade of this and I just use my finger and rub it around on this. I'm not going to apply this straight to my face because it's a pretty thick and I like to really be precise with highlight. So I like the shade of this. It's pretty light. It has nice illumination. So I'm applying it above my cheekbones and into my temple, cupid's bow, my chin, my cupid's bow, and then along the bridge of my nose and then same thing, other side. And then above my brows a bit. Okay, and then one I was pretty impressed with from Jones Road, this is their sparkle wash. So I have this in shade Gilded. It's a pretty gold sparkly shade. I'm using the spoolie to apply the product, but I'm going to use my finger to blend it out. It's a really light, pretty shade. It has a nice sparkle to it. And it's pretty creamy as well. And it does dry down. So I try and work with it pretty quickly. That's why I'm not talking a ton. It just dries down and then you can't really move it much. 
for me, this is just nice and light and it's a great like eye pop for every day. That's why I like it's like a one and done type product. The other one that I did include in my bag is the Victoria Beckham. This is their Lid Luster in Honey. So I love this. This one is kind of, it reminds me of if you've ever had a ink stamp, one of those stamp pads, that's kind of what the texture and consistency of this is. Like when you put your finger in it, it feels hard like that. But when you rub it around, you are getting some of that pigment payoff on your finger. And then when you apply it with your fingers to your lid, it's just a really nice like metallic golden with a little hint of glitter look. This is my favorite shade of the Lid Lusters. I will repurchase and I would continue repurchasing that because it's another one and done eye look, which I've just clearly been loving lately. Okay, and I've been using Hint's eye pencil. So this is in shade black. And I'm applying this just into my lash line. And I'm being direct with it, as you can see. This is pretty easy to use. I don't have anything like crazy to add aside from, it's a black eyeliner. It's not messy, it's a pencil. It's easy to apply just directly. It's a little bit dry which is fine. You kind of want that grip to your lash line. If you have something that's too creamy, sometimes it just doesn't adhere as well and you don't get that bold line. Um, it does have on this other end, this like smudging sponge. I'll use it with you all because we're here, might as well. But this is nice for helping like create more of a smoky eye look, but also I could just stick with the bold line too if I wanted. So. Yeah, just kind of a difference in look. This is my favorite mascara. Truly, it is my favorite mascara. That's a very bold statement, but I love the Jones Road mascara. It has the perfect amount of volume. It has that pie painter wand that I personally prefer. Silicon wands are okay. I prefer like the big bushy volumizing wand. I just get the look I like a lot more. So I just kind of want to show you, I did put a little bit on this side, but I did want to show you just how like volumizing that is. I don't put any on my bottom lashes. Okay, and then lip pencil I've been using. This is Eroy Perez's Sesame, and I like the shade of it. So I have been using two different shades of Jones Road. These are their newer lip tints. So I have this one in Just Pinky, and then I also have Coco Rose. I think that Coco Rose really complements the mocha, whatever that one was called that I used on my cheeks. So I'm gonna use that today, but both are really nice. They're pretty lightweight. They have nice texture to them as well. They're pretty moisturizing too. You can just see this is a little bit like of a deeper shade. It remind again, it reminds me of the blush or the Live and Cheek, whatever that one was called. And I use my finger kind of like blend the lip liner with the tint. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. So I do like a lot of the things from this week. I like this lip, I like the blush that I use. Even I, I wouldn't say I totally changed my mind about the rose ink. It's not my favorite, but it's workable. Like where before I was like, yeah, I didn't even wanna work with it. Now I'm like seeing it is workable. It's just like a little bit waxier of a texture. And yeah, I use some stuff that I've loved. I've, you know, in the past, I've used some new things. So let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.